Twitter to add to the chatter. Thank you for trusting me. What good is having a girlfriend if you can't unload your psychological sewage on her? Where's my date? Coming. <laughs> Holy jeez. You like? It costs more than my car. <laughs> Shows like Two Broke Girls, The Big Bang Theory, and Mom have turned CBS into America's most watched network. And you can thank Nina Tassler. In her nearly 20 years at the network, the former chairman of CBS Entertainment oversaw more than 200 programs, including The Good Wife, Madam Secretary, and Supergirl. She also developed blockbuster franchises like CSI and NCIS. Tassler stepped down last year to pursue other creative projects. And the first one hit bookstores this week. It's called what I Told My Daughter, and it is a diverse collection of essays from leading women like Laura Bush, Brooke Shields, Mia Hamm, and Madeline Albright. The book is published by Atria. That is an imprint of Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. Nina, good morning and good morning. congratulations. Thank you, Nora. I know how hard you worked on this, but I'm particularly interested, too, in what your inspiration was for this. Your own 13-year-old daughter when she started having adult type of challenges. Yes, exactly. Um, she was 13 years old. She was playing club volleyball. At, I was traveling all over Southern California. <laughs> and uh, she happened to be at a tournament in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, the temperature was about 120 degrees outside. It was pretty brutal. Um, and she had a tough four days. Uh, they lost most, if not all, of the games. But the last game she played, uh, she played really well, and she fought her heart out. She, I'm not very athletic, so I said, oh, yes, go hit hard and do well, and, um, and she did, um, but they still lost. And she turned and came running over to me, and I thought in that moment, I had to say something. What am I going to tell her? What advice am I going to give her? Um, because they still lost. Yeah. Um, and I realized, um, I said, you know what? You were consistent. Your team could depend on you. You were there when they needed you. And her face lit up. And I knew in that moment, I had validated how she yes. felt about herself. Yes. And I knew our relationship was going to change. And I knew, wait a minute, I know now I've mm -hmm. got to reach out. I've got to find a book. I've got to, some, I've got to get some advice. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? And I looked for a book. I couldn't find it. And we came up with this so idea. So you decided to write it yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and talk to mothers all over the place, yeah. including yes. our own. Nora O'Donnell. And what did you say about your daughter? Well, you know, I wrote a book about cupcake management, which is, a, which is a story about my young Grace, as you know, and sort of their wanting to do things their way right. and then trying to channel those executive leadership skills, which have in the past been called bossy, That's and right. channel those in a positive direction. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you found a common theme with all the women that you talked to. Well, didn't that you? was the most exciting thing. That's what thing. I think is so, because you interviewed a variety black, white, young, or older. And that was very, very important. I realized that. You know, we as mothers, I think we've been over hyphenated to death. I mean, literally, you're a soccer mom, a working mom, a tiger mom, a stay at home mom, a tired mom, a tired mom. You're yeah, all of those yeah. things. And the reality is, we're all just mothers. And I think by hyphenating us, it kind of put us in separate camps. That's really not the way it should be. We're united in wanting the best possible futures for our daughters and having that freedom of choice. Having gender equality was a common theme throughout many of these essays. Yeah. Beyond that, how are mothers different from fathers? in terms of advice and in terms of playing that kind of role? Well, I think it's not necessarily different. I think it's about showing a balance. And, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg actually says in her essay that the way she taught her children about gender equality was letting them observe that both parents shared family and home responsibilities. Such a good message. Yes. I love the it message from your, your son, though, who, when you're driving the car, your little boy <laughs> said to you, Mom, boys are better than girls. And you pull the car over and yes. said, wait a second. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And the words you said to him were what? No, they're not better. I said, no, they're not better. They're different, yeah. but they're equal. Yeah. And what I think the key was to not only pulling the car over, but turning the engine off. Yeah. I think that really shocked him in that moment. Well, the famous Ruth Bader Ginsburg story, just to follow up, is that when the school would call her and say, your daughter's sick, Ruth Bader Ginsburg would say, why are you calling me? Why don't you call the father? Yeah. <laughs> so I love this, too. I mean, there's so many great things. Marie Osmond Marie says, Osmond's tells, really tells her daughters, too. always have the right to change That's their right. minds. The good wives, Christine Baranski says, quote, aim high, but muddle through That's right. gracefully. That's right. 
What did you find in, uh, was the crux of successful relationships between mothers and daughters? Well, one of the most important things that I found was there's been a trend about getting kind of overly involved in your daughter's lives. One of the things I found consistently through these stories is involving your daughter in your life. Mm. Bringing them into your mm. world was really important. Um, when former First Lady Laura Bush talks about traveling to Africa, you know, she brought her daughters with her so they could personally yeah. see the ravages that the AIDS crisis was having on on children and communities and families. Nina, and think, you're in TV, so I know you know TV time cues, because we're getting yes. a 10, 9, yes. 8, 7. But Nina Tasser, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the book. Thank you very much. Good job, Nora O'Donnell. She's in the book big time. What I Told My Daughter is on sale right now. You're watching CBS This Morning. We'll be right back.